hello 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 welcome back to the channel welcome back to the stream today i would like to make a speech bubble component system whatever you want to call it okay so this is the frame i chose the idea is to cut this image into segments then we can stretch the frame uh, however we like and so it fits the text so that's that's the goal i want to achieve today and we'll see how it goes i'm using the wiki template okay so let's just make i guess a bubble bubble class i guess we're gonna need the texture that's obvious let's make a constructor Now we need to cut the texture into segments. The corner is like 70 pixels. I'm gonna put that attribute or parameter constructor. So we need like nine segments and I need just the rectangles. Let's start with an array. I'm gonna have like nine segments. Top left corner with an height, right? So top left corner. Width and height is gonna be that uh, corner size. That's the indices. That's it. So this should slice and dice the texture into nine segments similar to this. Let's try drawing the, the thing. Okay. Something like this. Create a bubble. We need to load the texture. This should draw the bubble, yeah, so it seems it's okay, sliced properly. Let's have a position for the bubble, okay, let's set up a position, let's see if it moved, yeah, okay, cool. Now I would like to change the width and height. The width and height is gonna affect everything except the corners. Oh, let me rename this to the source rectangles. Oh, let's do the destination. Let's make a method to you know, calculate destination rectangles let's grab this use the destination but i think i'm gonna need something similar to this should i remember the corner size i guess so this should work for the corner Okay, this should be it. Let's do a few substitutions. Okay. Okay, so this should resize the bubble uh, however we like. Let's make another method to, I don't know, set width and height. And then it's gonna go the calculate. Let's use this there. Bubble. Okay. So let's, I don't know. Let's do 400. Okay, so this should hopefully resize the bubble. Okay, cool. And it still looks quote unquote the same. We have this resizable framey bubble. The next step is to obviously fill it with text. Okay, so I think the first thing we need is a font. This thing should have a font. Okay, there we go. And we should have some kind of text. 
actually the width and height should like auto balance by the text let's uh, do some testing so hello developers let's draw that string but i need the position for that so what does this do it returns vector both axes let's call it text size you know what let's do it like this text is gonna be private we are gonna change this into set text text let's put it there so we're gonna set the text and recalculate the sizes based on the text this should be the size of the text which should control the width let's try doing something like width equals to text size x plus two times the corner size and something like this and let's do a position for the string X plus corner size. Hopefully, Y plus corner size. And then that's it. Okay. And now let's just draw the string that we need. Right font. That's our font. And we need ID text. Let's the text then the position that's the text position and the color and something might happen now perfect i mean that worked <laughs> surprisingly well uh, a, a lot better than i expected for a first try um, okay um, let's try a longer text I, how's it going? Okay. It's still working. I'm still amazed. Are you? Leave a like. Let's just for the fun play some memory wiki on steam now uh, make the window bigger nice okay so that's the speech bubble resizing i can position it Let's actually change one more thing. The position won't change because it won't call the recalculation. Make a method for it. And now let's just call this as well. Instead of this. Let's try changing the position. Yep, still working. Perfect. We could add a color. Let's try, I don't know, yellow. There we go. That oh, fits kind of nicely. Okay, so as I said, uh, this was a lot easier than I expected. You can find the code in the repository as usual. I'm gonna post the link in the description and commit the changes. If you've got any ideas for another similar topics, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. 
and i'll see you in the next one hopefully soon so thank you and bye bye